and they were testing a neuron, that's a brain cell, that always fired, made this sound, yeah, whenever the monkey would grab for a peanut. So the lab had all these peanuts around, and whenever the monkey made its move, the neuron would fire. Scientists thought, now here's a neuron that is essential to motion. It's a motor neuron. Then one day, the monkey was just sitting around, not moving at all, just sitting, when a human scientist came into the lab. And when that scientist grasped the peanut, yeah, the monkey's cell fired. Now, the monkey hadn't moved. It was the human that had moved, suggesting that this neuron up here couldn't tell the difference between seeing something and doing something. Seeing and doing were the same. Or more intriguingly, that for this neuron, watching somebody do something is just like doing it yourself. To demonstrate, he put me into this very powerful fMRI brain scanner that can peer into the brain while it's working. And he gave me some goggles so he could show me pictures when I was in there. So you can see here the eyeball of Robert. And once he had a good view into my brain... Nice looking brain. Thank you. Robert, you're not supposed to talk when we scan you, all right? Sorry. Then he said, okay, I'm going to show you a bunch of faces. And for each face, I want you to imitate it. So I did that. Then he recorded my brain while I moved my facial muscles. We're going to do right away another one. Okay. Then he said, okay, same faces, but this time, don't move a muscle. Just look. So I looked. When we checked the results... Oh, there's my brain. I've never seen my brain before. This is your mirror right now. Jacoboni says that the part of my brain that's working when I make a face, the same part gets busy when I see the face. So if you're watching a cartoon with an angry or violent scene, your mirror neurons are firing as if you were doing the very same angry or violent 